morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. So I have approximately one idea every five years. Like in 2006, I had an idea called Vlogbrothers, and then five years later, I had an idea called Crash Course, and then five years after that, I had an idea called The Anthropocene Reviewed, and now I am patiently awaiting my fourth idea. Hank, you meanwhile have one idea every 20 seconds. Like, I would say that on 7,000 separate occasions, you've called me and said, I have a million dollar idea. If I had an actual million dollars for every million dollar idea Hank has pitched me, I would have like seven billion dollars, or nearly three percent of Jeff Bezos's wealth. When it comes to ideas in general, Hank's job is to be extremely enthusiastic, and my job is to be extremely dubious. And to be fair to Hank, he has had many wonderful ideas, from VidCon to SciShow to Subbable. Hank has helped make amazing things. But to be fair to me, Hank has also had lots of terrible ideas. I'm talking about Surprisingly Edible, a store that only sells things that don't appear to be edible, and also Pella fans, Hank's only fans for pelicans. This is where my anxious, dread-filled, deeply dubious filter comes in, and if a Hank idea survives that filter, it's a great idea, and almost without exception, I have wholeheartedly approved of all of Hank's best ideas almost without exception. My first failure was in 2009. Hank called me and said, I have a million dollar idea, and I sighed. And then he said, I want to make special glasses that render 3D movies in a crisp two dimensions. And I was like, that's the worst idea I've ever heard. And Hank was like, no, a lot of people want to go see 3D movies with their friends or family or whatever, but they get headaches. And so 2D glasses would be a great service to them. And I was like, okay, I mean, that's an idea. It's not a million dollar idea, but it, it, it's an idea. Now, I was right. 2D glasses did not make a million dollars, but I was also wrong because they were very successful. But more to the point, I was wrong on a deeper level because 2D glasses changed both of our lives. Because with 2D glasses, Hank realized that his ideas could become things. If the idea of 2D glasses could become 2D glasses, then the idea of a conference could become VidCon, the idea of an educational video company could become complexly, the idea of me with a mustache could become a t-shirt, and so on. So I was wrong, but not as wrong as I was a couple years ago when Hank called me and told me that he and some folks at DFTBA.com had worked up a million dollar idea, a sock subscription. I don't know why in thinking about how to raise more money for charity, Hank arrived at socks, but I'm very glad he did. Here's the idea as Hank pitched it to me. What if every month a pair of wonderful socks arrived at your house and your ankles were happy and all of the profit, not some or most, but all, went to support stronger healthcare systems in impoverished communities? And I was like, that is not a million dollar idea. And I was wrong. Or at least, hopefully I soon will be wrong. Because the Awesome Socks Club has raised over $700,000 for charity in its first year. I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. I wish being wrong were always this lovely. I was wrong on every level, because in addition to supporting an important cause in such a big way, Awesome Socks Club socks are my favorite socks. Like, for reasons we don't have to get into, I am currently booted, but thanks to the Awesome Socks Club, I am able to maintain my high level of fashion even with my boot. So yeah, I hope this is the year that Hank proves me fully wrong and the Awesome Socks Club becomes a literal million dollar idea because it is doing a lot of good. Awesomesocks.club. You can only sign up for the next few days. This is the part where I disclose it's a sponsored video, but no, it's not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this. Awesomesocks.club. You gotta go now. Hank, I'll see you on Friday. P.S. I just want to be very clear about something, Hank. Just because I was wrong about this one thing does not mean that I am wrong about Surprisingly Edible, which continues to not be a good idea. Okay, that's all. Don't, don't you dare 